Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and before we get started I'd just like to let you know a lot of people don't realize that I create WordPress blogs and websites for small and home-based businesses. I also do tutoring over the internet. Um, so once you get to this site, jupiterjim.com, there will be a link somewhere that will take you to this site. And this is my WordPress blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team, where I have over 90 WordPress video tutorials for WordPress and the thesis theme and I would like to suggest that you find out where my opt-in box is at the time and just put in your name and email address and then you'll receive all my blog posts and video tutorials directly into your email inbox. Okay, let's get started with today's lesson. Um, we're at the reactive one. This is just a demo site. We're using WordPress version 3.5.1 and this is the default WordPress theme 2011 and this is a home page. Okay, that's all it is. What I'm going to teach you how to do is to change the font family and size. So let's just say this is, it doesn't look like, Verd it looks like it's Helvetica, I don't know, but just say you wanted to change it to Verdana or Ariel or Comic Sans, whatever. Um, there's not really an easy way to do it. Um, you could change, also you may want to change the font size and there's no real easy way to do that e either. So what I'm going to teach you how to change the font family and size, you can do that within a page or within a blog post, it's the same thing. Okay, so let's go, I'm going to click on this tab where I've already logged in to my demo site. Let's click back here. And as we look up here, there is no place to change font family and font size, okay? And this, this over here won't do it either. You don't want to use these H1 and H2 tags. That's for sections and they, you can't do that within a paragraph and it, it really will affect your SEO if you misuse those tags. So let's just go to plugins, add new. Let's go to ultimate tiny MCE, search for that. Here it is. Make sure you get the one by Josh Loeb click details and you know what this this is such a great plugin so you can see right here based on 326 ratings it's got almost a perfect 5 out of 5 it's compatible up to 3.6 the developer has stated on the uh, here that he's going to continue to update the the plugin forever and uh, and but the new functionality will be added to the pro version we're using the free version uh, let's just install that we're going to click activate plugin and once you do that, it adds the ultimate tiny MCE down here. I'm just going to click on that. And you've got all these tabs and things like that. These are not automatically checked, but I used it before. So you're going to check this to add the button for the font family and the font size there. Then when you're done with that, you can just click update buttons here. I'm going to scroll down so you can see there's a lot of buttons and things that you can add to this plugin. You can see there's stuff there for uh, YouTube, what have you. I'm going to click update buttons option. Let's go back to that page that we were editing. Here's the home page. Okay, and now you can see it added an option for font family and font size. It's always good to make sure you click on this button, which is called the kitchen sink button. So I can change the font family and font size within a paragraph, or I can change it for a whole paragraph for the whole page. It doesn't matter. Just highlight what you want to change. Go to font family. Let's make it comic sans MS so it's a noticeable difference. We'll go down to... Make it 18. Nah, you know, we'll just do a 20 for whatever reason. Maybe we're pretending we're creating a landing page. Who knows? Click update over here. Back to the demo site. I'm going to click on refresh. Scroll down. And so you can see it changed the font family and the font size. Look over here. This is the plugin that we just used. You can just look that up at ultimate tiny MCE at the wordpress.org and if you scroll down there's a 10 minute video which gives you a lot more functionality for this plugin and you will also see as you can see right here there are a lot more things that you can do with it inter inserting makes it easier to insert YouTube videos, create tables, short codes manager, etc, etc. So if you liked this video please click like add a comment, share with friends, family, and loved one. Take care and have a great day.